2011 has been the driest year in the history of Kenya. As a result, approximately 5 million Kenyans, and mainly 1 million in the northern part of the country, places like Turkana, Moyale, Marsabit, Isiolo, Mandera, Wajir, and Garissa, among others, are highly food insecure due to failed rains and famine. From here I can go to East Pokot, I can go to West Pokot, I can go to Marsabit, Moyale, Mandera, Wajir, Garissa, Injara, Tana River, parts of Kwale, parts of Coast, and part of Kajiado. This problem is there. No, these aren't scenes from a Hollywood film, nor are they publicity shots to garner support and aid. This is real life. Yet these scenes only tell us a small part of a much bigger story, a story that is known around the world. Kids are so malnourished and that their condition is just unacceptable. As a nation that is almost 50 years of independence, we can't today be proud of ourselves with this current situation. These are the children we talk about the future. The future is actually disappearing before our eyes in this district if we are not going to stand up. Ironically, most of these cases have received more coverage in the West than right here at home. We have known this drought has been coming, and here we are right in the thick of it now. We have seen people today who have been on the verge of dying from starvation, and only emergency interventions kept them alive. We are looking at six months of emergency support to save people's lives, and then 12 months to restore their livelihoods. It's essential that this appeal by Kenya Red Cross is supported. So next time you fuel your car and complain about the cost, or perhaps your local supermarket is out of sugar, Hey, the next time you flip through a paper without reading about the situation, or change the channel because the images on the screen are too distressing. Please take a moment to think about this disturbing and unnecessary situation. Almost 70% of the population in this district have been on food aid. And I could imagine maybe they need 100% food aid because they have no other means of livelihood since they have lost all their animals and there is no farming that happens here. So where is the food aid? The UN has called for an emergency meeting in Rome to mobilize aid for the Horn of Africa, help that is well received. But we can't sit by and watch while the rest of the world stops to help. We're urging Canadians to be generous. Um, the needs are great. As I said, we have raised uh, to date over a million dollars in Canada. The Canadian government has committed over 80 million dollars uh, to, uh, to the affected areas, but I think again we need to draw attention on other areas that are not in the world media or not in the Canadian media, and this is one of them. In a matter of weeks, we can make a difference. With your commitment and dedication, this can be a solution made right here at home. And nothing will make you more proud than to put a smile on someone's face. The Kenya Red Cross Society is certainly doing their part. Our key focus for this intervention is to deal with the issue of malnutrition in these communities. So we have a complete team of medical uh, team. We have a medical officer who is here. We have a team of nurses who are doing antenatal care and they are doing uh, vaccination for children. And then we have a, a team that is now focusing on nutrition. This is our Kenya. And these are our brothers and sisters. It is simply time for all to come aboard. Because there has never been a better time to be Kenyans for Kenya. The time has come when we must stand up and be counted, where we can even go and miss one or two or three meals in our homes, in our daily lives, that we can contribute and find resources to address this situation. The food situation, the health situation, the nutrition situation of this entire Turkana district and many other districts in Kenya. Time to discuss politics is gone. It's about saving life. And today is our responsibility to all stand up and be counted and save the lives of these ordinary Kenyans that are here that shouldn't be in this situation. It's about time that we stood up and said enough is enough. We need to, as a nation, address this issue.